1818. It is published by Geiger in Lewiston. The 2023 edition is now out, and as usual, it is chock full of interesting tips, life hacks, and more. Peter Geiger is the editor of the Farmer's Almanac, has been for a long time. He's with us here on 207 with some of these ideas from the practical to the to the kind of funny to, yeah. well, generally though, useful. Yeah. Thanks for coming yes. in. Good to have you here. Always useful. Yeah, okay. right. yeah we have we've a got, lot, to, lot to go over. We've got a lot to cover, um, so we're going to start right here. Well, this let, is one that's yeah. timely because yes, obviously feel, energy yeah. prices are super high, and, so and what have you got for and us? They're going to be. So if you have a window that's leaking, you can take a, a piece of bubble wrap and is, and spray it on the window. So sp if you spray that window with water, just a little film of water, and then you then you put the bubble side on the window, it will stay there. It will hold it up, but it will stay there all win all winter long, and it protects the 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 cold air coming through the glass, and it's just perfect. And that'll give you some insulation yeah. Yeah. and, and reduce you, some loss of heat. And you can use it next year and the year after and the year after. But it, that, you know, you're not going to bubble wrap your whole house, but but for those windows, yeah, it's just like you got one bad window and it needs a little help. That's sort of something to do. So all right, okay. and again, in a time of high energy prices, useful information. The onion. Okay. The on well, this is this is. I was cooking at a shelter and and the grill is all gunked up. So mm -hmm. how you clean your grill is you turn the heat on and you take take an onion, you cut the onion in half. And hopefully not my finger. Yes, that would. We don't. We don't need that kind of blood. Loss of blood here there on you go. television. And then you take, take a, a fork so it's because it's going to be hot. Right. And you just go up and down the grill, and it has antibiotics in it that will actually clean the grill. It was really amazing because I did it just the other day, and sure enough, it, it um, cleans the grill and. You can, you know, all you're using is an onion or, or half an onion. You know, we talk about this every time when you come on, yep. Peter, but where do these <laughs> ideas come from? I have no idea. They just keep, <laughs> they just keep coming. Uh, the, the other thing for, for cook, cookouts is you have all these containers that you're sitting around a picnic table and you've got to keep passing these things along. So if you just take a tin like this with six pockets in it and you start putting in, putting in all of the condiments, we'll just do a little bit here, another condiment. Oops. Come on, you know how ketchup, ketchup is. It, it never yeah. flows when never you flows need when it you to. Never flows when you want it to. I'll do one more. Um, so basically, you're going to put, you're going to fill this with all of the different condiments and pass this around. So you, all of these containers are going to go away, and you're going to just have it in a in a tray. You pass a tray around, and that takes care of everybody. Do you actually do this at your picnics? I do it at my at my cottage. <laughs> yes, know, I do. No, I got to ask you that. Yeah, no, I do. I do all this stuff. <laughs> okay, so that's that's cookouts. All right, here's one that I have not heard of involving eggs. Okay, I I love this thing because we have an article that, that basically says, what you can freeze it? Question mark. Yes. Well, you can freeze just about anything, and in this day and age, because things are so expensive, eggs are what five dollars a dozen sometimes. You can find them on sale. This is what you do. I'm going to have you crack two eggs here. All right. Put them in here. Put them in here. Going? Yep. Exactly. And just we'll and, and, yep, and, and then stir it. And by the way, when you crack an egg, you want to do it on the side, not over. You have no shells. Okay, so stir that up, please. Where are we going with okay. this? Okay, all right, now you're going to pour this in here. Into how many different ones? Does it matter? Two. I would say two of them, yep. Okay, so here we have fresh eggs that are now put into a, to a, a tin. This gets froze, frozen for four to six hours. You pop it out of the, the tin after that, once it's frozen, and then you can put it into a container. So here, an airtight container. So here, here is the, the eggs that I've already pre-broken, pre I guess. I didn't yeah. cook them. And so these things can last in your freezer for, for up, to, uh, up to a year. So if you could find a, a special deal on eggs or, or anything, um, and then you will cook them. Then you and can then you, do yeah. whatever you yes. would normally do. You, you let it thaw in your refrigerator and then use it within two or three days and then you, you, you're able to do that. And, and they should taste normal and obviously be yes. safe. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So it, well, in case you, you scrambled it, so that would be a scrambled egg later on. Okay. Uh, and with the yolk, you want to put a little bit of salt, just a dash of salt in it and it helps the yolk. All right. One uh, more, the corn. Yep. So now you have the corn. And by the way, you can also freeze milk. In the almanac, you can freeze milk and other, other goodies. So now, when you have corn and somebody can't eat the corn, what you do is you take the bun pan, you stick it here, yes, and then all you have to do is carve down, go around, and take off all the corn. And the nice part is, it stays in the pan, in the bun pan. So if somebody can't can't eat corn on the cob, they can still have the corn. And then it is in it's in the in the pan itself. Whoops, there we go. 
So there's 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 that little little jewel. All right, we got them all in. Five life hacks yep. from the Farmers Almanac, and there are a lot more, dozens and dozens more in the 2023 edition. And even even more online too. So if you go to farmersalmanac.com, you'll see a lot more of this stuff. It's really good. Peter Geiger, thank you for coming in. It's always fun to hang out with you. Thank you. Stick around. We're going to be back with more of 207 right after this.